Photoshop CS6. This is CC uh, interface. To begin, we have the file menu and we have the menu bar right here under the file menu. The menu bar changes according to which tool you have selected. Okay, you'll see it changing up here as I select different tools. Okay, um, this is the toolbar. Okay, now each tool, if you left click it and hold it down, you'll have some options for each tool. I haven't gone through every tool to check this, but I'm pretty sure each tool will have some options. Okay, and your menu bar changes to work with your tool selection. Here we have uh, the foreground color and background color. Uh, I have a new, well, let's go ahead and do it. I'll go File, New, and say I want to start with a blank canvas uh, set to a white background when I selected New. Now if I uh, choose this option here, it will start painting red automatically. Okay, if I switch it, it switches to black. Okay, and it's following this uh, scheme up in here. You'll notice that when I switch it here, it changes here. Okay, under the color. Now, <clears throat> you'll learn more about that as we move forward, as I learn more about that. And really, we don't need to worry about that too much right now. We're just uh, getting familiar with the interface a little bit. Of course, we have the mini bridge. Down here, we covered that in the last video. And over here to the right, uh, we have the history panel, of course. And over here, we have uh, our other panels. Okay. We have color, swatches, layers, channels, and paths. At this point, to explain these, uh, I couldn't do it because I'm learning, and there's really no need to explain it at this point. We're just going over some of the basics. As we learn it together, we'll learn more about these tabs and these layers. I can tell you that the layers is pretty cool. It has to do with uh, some pretty heavy design type deals where you can combine pictures and pieces of pictures and uh, you can layer and stack your artwork and like I watched uh, TJ do a really cool video of uh, uh, like a big wave wiping out a bridge. Pretty cool. But anyway, he used a lot of layers on that, that video so that's something interesting that will be coming up. But anyway, we're just getting a feel for, for the interface, okay? Uh, you can, of course, we discussed this about changing, you know, the size. Let's go ahead and collapse the mini bridge down. Uh, we can also drag, we can customize everything. We can pull the layers out here if we want to get a nice full view. And I collapse that one. Let's see what happens if I collapse this one. That's not bad, okay? I like that. Let's see what happens if I hit it here, okay? It gives me some options of doing some different things. So let's just say I close this out, okay? Now it's no longer here, okay? Now, <clears throat> I might I might fool around, open up another one, see what's going on, say I've got a big project going, and say I collapse that one, okay? Let's say I close out the color swatches, okay. And then let's say I close this thing down and open it back up, okay. I'm not going to save anything, okay. Now I'm going to open it back up, okay. You'll notice that everything's just like I left it, okay. That brings us to this little tab here, okay? Uh, mine was automatically set to Essentials. I've just started using Photoshop, and yours should have been as well. It's the main one that you start out working in. So what we can do is open that up and come down here to Reset Essentials, okay? 
Now everything's back. Of course, the history has changed. I have to open that up. Okay, tab that back down. Here's the properties panel, uh, which we'll learn about that as we move along. Okay, we're just getting acquainted with some of these things. Okay, I want to that one be back in there so let's drag it back okay now um, <clears throat> we can say if we don't once we get used to using the program and we start changing things around and we want to do a custom uh, workspace here you know uh, we can save our workspace by coming down here and put new workspace and you can put your initials, custom, whatever, and hit save. And your selection will be available under this tab if you so choose to do. Okay, I'm going to reset essentials again. Now, um, we also have some different tabs here. And I'm sure as we uh, begin to learn, uh, we will get into these different uh, workspaces. We have 3D. We have typography uh, and some different uh, settings. But you'll notice when I, when I select typography, if I start editing typography, then I can reset that particular one that I'm set to. Okay. Uh, we're going to stick with essentials for now. Let's see, is there anything else that we need to go over? I think that pretty much covers it. And not a very informative or highly interesting video, but we spent some time going over the interface, spent some time browsing around, clicking around, playing around, opening some photos, uh, make, you, make yourself a video telling other people about it. That's the best way to learn is to teach. Okay, That's what I'm doing. Hope it helped. God bless.